gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cami. Today's video is going to be a little different just because I wanted to do something different for you guys. Um, so if you don't know, I'm currently pregnant but if you've been following along you should know that. Um, but today's video is going to be testing old wives tales um, for gender. So I already know the gender. I did the blood test at I believe 12 weeks and found out out 13 weeks what I was having um, you guys can watch the actual gender reveal I will link that down below and in the cards for you guys if you didn't watch it but I was told that I'm having a baby girl and I will you know double confirm that um, with my 20 week ultrasound here in a couple of weeks so yeah for this I just wanted to do something different I thought it would be fun considering I already know what I'm having just to compare um, you know old wives tales so i'm going to be going through this list that is on the huggies website um so i don't know how um how this is gonna go but it has like different things and we're just gonna go through all of them so i hope you guys enjoy this little video so the first one is are you carrying high or are you carrying low um, so let me look at my, I'll show you guys my little bump. Can't really see it right there. Okay. So this is my bump and I'm currently 18 weeks when I'm filming this. But I feel like when I first got pregnant, I got a lot of bloat around here, but now this part of my belly is starting to get a little rounder. Um... But I know in some of my TikToks, people said that I was carrying high. Um, but I really don't know if I'm carrying high or low. I feel like... I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm going to go with low, but maybe high. I don't know. I just feel like I have a normal bump, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, high is girl and low is boy. So based on that, I should be carrying high. Let me know in the comments if I'm carrying high or low because I honestly just don't know. Um, the next one is, do you have pregnancy acne or other types of skin blemishes? Or is your skin glowing and flawless? Um, so, I feel like at the very, very beginning I had, or I was getting acne, um, but I've never, not since being like a teenager, teenager, that... I like in high school and middle school that's when I had like the most acne so I feel like I haven't gotten a lot of breakouts or anything but also my skin didn't go completely flawless or anything like that I still have my imperfections and I still get you know pimples like right here and stuff so I'm gonna go with acne it didn't change really though um let's see Okay, so the old wives tale claims girls steal your beauty, but I mean, I didn't really get a ton of acne or anything like that. Okay, so the next one is, have you, where'd it go? Have you noticed a change in your body temperature? Um, if you're feeling cold and icy or hot and sweaty. So, I've, I definitely feel hot and sweaty. Like I get, like doing my makeup, I start sweating and just, doing things I feel a lot more sweaty and stinky in general not that that's good <laughs> um let's see but it says if you're feeling cold and icy it's a boy and hot and sweaty it's a girl so I definitely don't feel cold unless like the fans on and like all that kind of stuff but for the most part I feel like I'm sweating more and I notice that my armpits sink more so I have to keep applying deodorant so yeah <laughs> okay so the next one is about baby's heart rate which I've heard this one for sure um, so it's typically what is the baby's heart rate so at the very beginning baby's heart rate was like 170 and now um, now that it's supposed to get more regular it's been um, below the 150s like in the 140 I think 150 area but let's see. 
An old wives tale claims that slower heart rates under 140 means a boy, which that, I mean, it's been 140 and above. So heart rates over 140 means a girl. So based on that, another girl one. Have you noticed any significant cravings like sweet or salty? I've craved more fruit as of lately, so I would go with sweet cravings. I'm not, I don't really have any other cravings besides that. And I have to have my glass of milk every night now. So craving sweet things, you're having a girl. Craving salty or sour foods, it's a boy. I really just, I like salty foods more um, than sweet foods on like a general basis, but I've been wanting fruits, so. Um, let's see. Both ancient Chinese and Mayan cultures use a calendar to predict baby's gender. If both your age and the year you conceived are even, you're having a girl. Both are odd. Um, okay. Well, I, my year of birth is even, and then I'm having baby. Hold on. Year you conceived, um, which was 2020. So. Have you dealt with morning sickness? So yes, I have, and with Parker, I did not have morning, morning sickness, but this time, I've, it's not really been throwing up, it's just been nausea a lot. So let's see what that makes. That one. An old wives tale, sorry, my child is yelling. An old wives tale states that sickness means it's a girl. Okay, so yeah, I had morning sickness, and I didn't with Parker. So that's that seems accurate for that one. you've experienced lots of clumsiness during your pregnancy I don't think I've gotten more clumsy as of right now no um, but I guess if you are experiencing clumsiness it means it's a boy and if you're graceful it means it's a girl I don't think I've been more graceful or clumsy I think I've been the same which I sometimes strip that's just me I'm not like I never have accidents or anything like that so I do have accidents is what I was saying not I'm not perfect there we go <laughs> are you having crazy pregnancy dreams so in the beginning yes I definitely had some weird like vivid dreams which I know can be a sign of pregnancy in itself early stages um, so yes let's see what that makes rumor has it that your baby's gender is opposite of the gender you dream about. I didn't have, oh. oh, pregnancy dreams. Okay, no, I haven't dreamt about being pregnant at all. So, no. <laughs> um, have you experienced frequent headaches during your pregnancy? Yes, I have, um, but I also have high blood pressure, so that's probably adding to that. Um, but yes, definitely have had lots of headaches. So, if so, you could be having a boy, so that one wouldn't be correct for me. What color is your pee? Okay, well, apparently if your urine is bright yellow, it's a boy, and if your urine is light and dull in color, it's a girl. But I feel like that just depends on water, because usually when you drink water, your pee isn't as yellow. So, I drink water. How is your mood? If you're happy or mellow, or if you're moody, I think... I've been kind of moody, not like too moody, but I haven't not had little cranky fits and gotten upset over things, so it says moody as a girl, so there we go. Um, okay, and I know another one is the ring test, so I'm going to go ahead and include that. I know a lot of people, I did this on my TikTok and I had a lot of different um, responses just because the articles that I read circle when the ring does a circle it means boy and when the ring does like a straight line it means girl um, you might have read the opposite I really don't I don't know because like some of the articles a couple of them what I read said what I said and then a couple of them I clicked on after I posted the video said the opposite so I really don't know what is the truth um, but I'm gonna just go with uh, circle is boy and straight line is girl and we will see. When I did this on my TikTok, I got a boy and then I got a girl and then it just kept going for more and more kids and I was like, we're not having this many kids. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. 
I will insert this. We will do that now, the little wing test. So I'm not doing it with a strand of my hair or anything. So that might be throwing it off. But I will take off my wedding ring and just use or my, you know. I'll use this one and I will do it over, I think you're supposed to do it over your left hand. And I'll take off my thumb ring as well. And, and we will. That one be girl. Another girl. It started as a boy and then I went to a girl. Oh, okay. Well, looks like three kids. So I guess just take that how you will. When I did it the first time I got a, you know, circle and then I got a straight line. Um, but this time I think I got all, all girls, but I have had a son, so that's not correct. Or it is it would mean that I had either be I had all girls or I had all boys, which would be not true um, unless they messed up my blood test. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know you guys' answers below to this. If you got more girl or if you got more boy got more girl based on the answers um but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys